I got a message for you from the divine. You are cherished. Check out this cool infinity card that I made that I want to show you how you can make that can have either messages from the divine, affirmations, or just messages that you want to repeat to yourself. Watch how this works. And then it starts again. You are cherished. You are loved. You are worthy. You are enough. It's kind of like a fidget spinner because you can keep going over and over. That's why it's called an infinity card. And read these messages to yourself, from yourself, or from God. Want to know how to make it? I'll show you. You start with two four by four inch squares and you fold them with a bone folder or a stylus at the one inch mark and at the three inch mark and then you turn it and you fold it at the one inch mark and the three inch mark, turn it a quarter turn. And then you fold these back and forth and you make two of them, okay? Then you cut each one in half and turn one rectangular, uh, turn them into two two by four inch rectangles and you turn one horizontal and one vertical. The slice is horizontal and the slice is vertical. You put glue on each one of the four corners and I have some double stick tape on these corners right here. And I will tell you from experiences, experience that it doesn't work as well as it should. The double stick tape. So I recommend you using a, uh, a glue, maybe even stronger than a glue stick, more like Elmer's glue. And then what you do is you line up the rectangles and you glue the corners together. Making sure that you have the vertical cut going one direction and the horizontal cut going the opposite direction. And you make sure those are tightly glued together. And then you have your card, your infinity card ready to decorate. And the way I have kind of labeled this, I'll include the link of it, I got it from but the way I've labeled this, this front part, the, the first view, there's four views. The first view opens like a, like a door. The second view opens sort of like a window. The third view I call the kimono view because that's what it reminds me of. And the fourth view opens more like a garage door. Now, one warning that I want to share with you, and it, I have it here kind of represented by color. Here's the front view, front door view. Now, the window view, note that this rectangle and this rectangle that I have here in a light red, these two rectangles are viewable from both the second view and the third view. So you don't want to write words for this view onto these side rectangles. You can decorate them but don't write words on them because they will be viewable in the next view. So this is view two, the window. View three, it opens like a, it looks like a kimono. So you see that these red rectangles are viewable in this view three. And then view four, you have the entire panel. And then you go back to the front. So let me show you one more time how that turned out. Now that you know what you're looking for. You are cherished. You are loved. Now you'll notice that these decorations right here in these panels are viewable in the first, the second view, as well as the third view. So to some extent, these, the second and third view kind of have to be related, at least on a color scheme. 
And then the fourth view, the back, you are enough. And you start over again. I'll have a link in the comments um, or perhaps in the description and you can make your own infinity card with messages that resonate with you. Thanks for watching.